Hello everybody! Thank you for joining me in my living room. Uh, today, Satoshi is not here. He is visiting his parents. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one again. I don't know about you guys, but food has always played an important part in my life. The first memory I have of food is um, when I was three years old. And um, I still lived in Japan with my mother and my sister and my dad. And uh, I remember um, going to the public bathhouse with my mother and my sister. In the middle, and my sister and I on either side holding my mother's hand. I remember that very clearly. And it was a good memory. And, um, after the bath, uh, she would give us a stick of yakitori, which is grilled chicken, and uh, a bottle of strawberry milk. And that was my first good memory of food. When my mother and I moved to Hawaii, and I was about five years old, and we had to leave my sister back in Japan because we were rather poor. Uh, we had a shitty dad, and um, he used up all my mom's money and stuff. I'm not gonna get into that right now. And uh, so we had to leave my sister behind, and uh, my mother could only take me. And my sister came later on. Once every two weeks, on a Friday or Saturday night, uh, my mom would take me to a steakhouse. Not a fancy steakhouse of any kind. It was just a fast food, fast food type of steakhouse. But I remember it being very cheap, and it was cheaper to eat there than to cook steak at home. And uh, so my mother and I used to share a plate, and that was a really good memory. I enjoyed uh, that very much. So those two memories were uh, good memories um, in my early days, very early days. And then after that, I remember not so good memories of food. Um, I started to use food as um, comfort. Um, I used to use food as an escape, I think. And um, um, so I started to overeat and um, I got really addicted to food. And um, the more I ate, the more depressed I got and the more, the more fatter I got. And I got to the point where I was 250 pounds. 250 pounds. That was my heaviest weight and I was a teenager. And um, yeah, I just kept getting fatter and I couldn't stop eating. Looking back at it now, it was probably one of the worst times in my life. I have to say it was, it, it was the worst time in my life because uh, yeah, it was really bad. It was really bad. I didn't like living. I really I had so much anger, you know, and I, you know, just, it was just bad. So, any of you guys going through that, you know, I can relate to you guys. It does get better. Although I did not enjoy my childhood or my teenage years, that was also a time when I was first exposed to cuisines of the world. Um, because I live in Hawaii, it's, um, there's so many ethnic ethnicities Ah, oh, ethnic, ethnic, oh, I can't say it. There are so many people from, you know, different places and they all live there and uh, um, seriously, I'm forgetting my English. The longer I live here, the less I can speak coherently. I remember I had a Vietnamese neighbor and um, I used to go over there and that's I had my first taste of nuk mom or fish sauce. At first, I, I despised it because it's so pungent. But, um, you know, I had my first Vietnamese spring rose with some of that nuk mom sauce and oh, I was hooked. And then I had a Korean friend, he was one of my best friends. That's where my love for Korean food comes from and spicy food for that matter. And um, I also had a couple of Chinese friends, which is why I love Chinese food. So that was a good thing because I was ex exposed to a variety of cuisines um, from an early age so um, I didn't have too many things I disliked as I grew older but when I moved out of my mother's uh, home um, when I was 17 yeah I moved out when I was 17 um, I learned how to cook yeah I started cooking for friends and um, 
family too. I, I would go home and cook uh, Thanksgiving dinner because my mother didn't really celebrate Thanksgiving and but you know, or Christmas, and so I would go over and cook dinner for our small family, and um, I would enjoy seeing um, their faces happy eating my food. And I think that's how I started to love cooking. I thought cooking could make people happy. Um, making something delicious and beautiful put smiles on people's faces. And um, it did for me, and, and I, I know it did for others. And so that's why I love to cook. As some of you know, I was a flight attendant for a few years, and I was lucky to fly to Europe. That's where I... I, I I became hooked on learning as much about food as I could possibly can. Um, it was so interesting, it was so deep and so, so meaningful to me and um, that became my obsession for a very long time. Fast forward to today and um, before making YouTube videos I was blogging and I was also writing um, about food and recipes for an online magazine. I wanted to uh, release a cookbook, um, but uh, someone told me that, you know, not many people read these days. And you know, if you even if I release a cookbook, who knows how many I would sell? And you know, not many people read these days. So um, they told me you should do YouTube, and here I am. <laughs> so that's that's my short, hopefully not too long for you guys, but my short little history of how food plays such an important part of my entire life. Food, travel, and life, I can't separate them at all whatsoever. The best memories with my friends revolve around food. I have good memories of hiking and stuff like that, but there's always food. There's always that food factor there. And so yeah, it's a big part of my life. When I travel, first thing I do is go through guidebooks. I look for um, um, what I have to eat there. You know, I, I get so excited over the new, uh, the new kind of food that I'm going to encounter in a foreign land. And um, that's what excites me about travel. I mean, I do like to do other stuff other than eat. <laughs> I do, I really do. But yeah, food is such a big part of my life. And I guess it does play a big part in a lot of your lives or else you guys wouldn't be watching the channel, right? Um, I'll end here. Um, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I never know how much you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you want to know more about me, let me know. If you want to know about Satoshi, let him know. He's not as open as I am. He's actually really 2% open whereas I am a thousand percent open. I, I have nothing to hide. I love being open with everyone and anyone really. Uh, whereas he's full of secrets. Thanks for joining me today. I don't feel so lonely anymore today. Um, and um, I love you guys and I uh, hope you guys keep watching my videos. Um, until next time, take care. Have a good evening guys. Bye.